hello guys welcome back to the daddy cliff channel today let's look at an opportunity to study at loveborough university in the united kingdom they have an opportunity for you to transition from a master's degree to a phd now i'll provide a link to this landing page so that you can click it and then look for the opportunities for yourself all you need to do is go to this area where it says a to z of current phd opportunities yeah i know i said from master to phd but when you go deep into some of the majors you'll find that some of them will require you to first do a master and then do a phd so if we click on this it will take us to this page what you need to do is filter the fee statue you have to take i am an international student except you are from the uk so I know most of my viewers are international students. The next thing is you have to click on funding status. So you would select studentship. If you select self-funded, it means you want to pay tuition. If you select show all funding status, it means you want it to show you studentship or self-funded. But we will select studentship because we want it to be funded. And then you would find the status here, PhD, PhD, PhD. The first one is 3D printed reactors for online reaction monitoring but before we get into the details let's look at this important factor which is english language requirement normally they would want you to provide one of those english language requirements like ielts as it is stated here but the question is don't meet our ielt requirements there is another way if you go down here, you would find other options. But what is of interest to us is international school based qualification. So here you would find by country and then qualification and then the minimum grade. So for Australia, they have it here. Austria, they have it here. And then you have Botswana, the African country. If you did the Botswana General Certificate of Secondary Education, you should have at least a C grade. If you are from Cameroon, then you should have at least GCE, ordinary level, C grade. And then you can go ahead and look for your country. So we have India here. If you have the CBSE, All India Senior School Certificate Examination, you should have at least 75%. Then you would be good to go. You can apply. So these are other qualifications that will be considered if you are from India. And then you equally have for Kenya, they have Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education, at least a C grade. And then for those who are from Nigeria, here, you'll find Senior School Certificate, the NECO. You should have at least C6. So you can go ahead and look for your country. If you find your country there, then good. You have Tanzania here. They have Certificate of Secondary Education and it's C grade. You have Uganda here. You can then certificate of education and then you need to have at least six. So go ahead. And then there is the general one for West Africa. I think they call it WASE. So if you have at least C6, you're good to go. So you should go ahead and look at them for applying. Going back to this page, you have accounting and finance academic group, PhD, studentship. So you can go ahead and look at them go through the different funded programs that are available here and then see if you would want if you are interested in applying look for the application requirements and then apply it is important to note that the deadlines are different per program so let's take for example creative technology it is important to note that there are two campuses you have the london campus and then there is a loveborough campus if you go back up here you would find it when filtering, there is campus. If you select, there is Loveborough and then there is London. So it all depends on where you would want to study. You can decide if you want to study at London campus and then you select London campus and then only London campuses will be displayed. If you want Loveborough, select Loveborough and then only majors that are available at Loveborough campuses will be displayed. But let's select both show both campuses and then we will have both campuses here so let's say you want to study accounting and finance academic group if you click on that it will tell you entry requirement this is two plus one it simply means second class upper division 
and then fee status it says for uk students it's fully funded international students fully funded and then the time duration of the program is three years start date is october 2024 or january 2025 and then the application deadline is 16th of february there is this project reference that you must indicate during the online application location is love bureau and then subject area is business and economics so if you go down here there are different things that you can see project details you can read about the project details they've already carved out a project detail for you so you don't really need to write a research proposal for applying so they've indicated their priority areas here you should read all of this information it's very important for the supervisor they have a tentative supervisor here and then for entry requirement they say our entry requirements are listed using standard uk undergraduate degree classification first class honor upper second class honor and lower second class honor so what you need to do is that if you're confused come here select your country let's say we are from nigeria if you click on nigeria it will display let's say you did your undergraduate degree or maybe your master's degree on a scale of seven then you should have at least this one you should have at least six for first class five for second class or the lower second class four and then if you did a program where the scale is on five you should have at least for first class 4.5 upper second class 3.8 lower second class 3.5 if it's on a scale of four then you should have at least 3.5 for first class honor upper second class three and then lower second class 2.5 it's very important that you take into account that we've already talked about the english requirement let's go back and look at other opportunities that might be available so if we go back we'll find others like there is architectural design process against a sustainable environment that is architecture building and civil engineering so all you need to do is just look at them. This one is artificial intelligence. This is computer science. Automatically building better algorithms. This is also computer science. All you need to do, there are lots of opportunities here. All you need to do is make sure you go through it and then look at which one might be of interest to you and then apply. It's very important that you take your time to go through. There are way too many. I cannot go through all of them. There is economics here also. It's also in the business and economics department. Take your time, go through it. Here they have School of Social Science and Humanities funded studentship. So if you click on this one, it will give you the details as well. The location is at Loveborough and then these are the subject areas that will be considered. So even for those who did international relation, politics and history, they can apply for this criminology communication and media they can apply for this scholarship it's very important if you want to know the funding if you click here you will see it for uk it says fully funded full-time degree per annum international fully funded full-time per annum for the process on how to apply you need to go and click on how to apply and then it will take you to this sector where it says all applications should be made online under program name select the relevant department name communication and media english geography stuff like that onto international relation and then i talked about the quote you have to make sure you quote the reference for this one it is ssh-2024 in the application say failure to include this reference with the application will result in the application not being considered for the studentship competition so if you really want to be considered for the scholarship make sure you quote this reference number here and then also make sure you submit the minimum supporting document it is indicated here including a 3000 word research proposal before the deadline so for this one there is a research proposal that must be submitted and then there are criteria that will be used for selection purposes you have to also make sure you read this information so there are minimum supporting documents that you can go ahead and look at them it says apply via our online portal you can simply click here but go down and read the information here they will need your transcript of your undergraduate showing your models a copy of your degree 
So it's very important. Like I said, these scholarships have the option for you to do a master and then transition to a PhD. So you, you must make sure you read the requirements before applying. It's very important. After doing that, all you need to do is come and click on apply here. It will take you to this page, application portal login, and then you would have to make sure you create a username. Since we don't yet have a username, we have to click on register. But if it happens that you had once applied to the University of Loughborough, then you already have a username and a password. You can just go ahead and click on it. But if this is your first time to apply, you need to go through this process. Create a new account, step one, two, three. So you have to input all of the information that is here. It's super important. And then you submit. From there, you will receive an email and then you can go ahead and begin with the application process. But make sure, like I said, you have the minimum required documents ready for application. You would equally have to scan and upload them. And then here is an opportunity for you to also have more funding. If you click on find out more about research degree funding, if you click on that, it will take you to this page. What you need to do is take funding type scholarship. If you click on that, it will give you some scholarships that are available. This is a China scholarship and it is available for Chinese students. There is the Commonwealth scholarship. There is a Commonwealth split side PhD scholarships. All of them are 100% tuition fee exemption. There is a Mexico. There is the Schlumberger Foundation faculty for the future scholarship. Is a total amount of money that they'll pay. Those are opportunities that you can go ahead and look at them. For the Commonwealth, I know the Commonwealth scholarships are already over. So you cannot apply for it now, which means you can only apply for the Commonwealth scholarship when it is available. So if you go ahead, you will read it, you will find the information. The application deadline for 2022-2023 has passed now. We will support application for 2023-2024 once dates have been announced. Application deadlines are usually October, November, but they have already passed. So if you're thinking about applying to study at Loughborough, those are other scholarship opportunities that you might want to consider. The common word scholarship that being said i would end the video here and i hope this video has been useful if it was then make sure you subscribe for more scholarship opportunities like this one bye bye